Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we got some interesting videos today. Carrie Lake is absolutely destroying Katie Dobbs and or Dobbs Hobbs, and we all know why. I'll be showing you guys videos of stuff right uh, on this channel, so get ready for a big one. Of course, this will only be three videos today, obviously, so normal back to standard stuff. But in this case alone, though, we have. Uh, we'll s this video will be somewhat long, mostly due to the videos that I'll be showing you. But I want to show you guys the exactly what Car what Carrie Lake has been saying, what they've been going at, who's been going after Carrie Lake, and why Dobbs is a fraud. Now you'll see exactly what's been going on and what can keep you informed. Take a look at this. RC Maxwell present Veritas action. Yeah. Just wanted to ask you a brief question about the statement that you made. Oh, you just filled your soda. Are you going to clean that up or just leave that here for the business? I just wanted to ask you about some comments you made on undercover footage regarding having a disdain for discussing politics now. Do you recall that, Senator Hobbs? You kind of talked about how you don't like to discuss policy and you don't like to debate. I just wanted to know if that is informing your decision. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk politics to anyone who I don't know. You've been caught on camera discussing her disdain for policy. Secretary, she's going inside of a restroom. She's ran. Secretary Hobbs has ran. She doesn't want to discuss policy with me. I would love nothing more than the opportunity to have a substantive conversation about that issue. Demand that your candidate, the one you guys are backing in the liberal press, show up and debate. The people of Arizona deserve this. Voters, in terms of deciding, uh, looking at the contrast between us and how uh, we're going to govern, if all she's going to do is shout shout over me, interrupt me, and uh, and and spew lies. Uh, and in fact, uh, PBS is also giving me uh, the same format that Carrie Lake has. Uh, so, so she certainly will not go unanswered. We've looked for opportunities for formats where I can talk directly to voters, they can hear directly from me without the spectacle that Carrie Lake is gonna create. Uh, and we're, we're gonna have the same opportunity uh, here that she is as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you kind of see, uh, get an idea on what, how Katie Dobbs is, and uh, not seeming too good, now is it? She seems to avoid almost every single confrontation ima imaginable, does not want to answer questions, and she also doesn't want to talk to people about politics that she doesn't know, which is a problem because if you don't want to actively debate people, then you kind of lose all credibility about yourself and you don't have very strong opinions or you don't stand by what you actually truly say. You're just hoping that some people will come by and believe into what you're actually saying, which is absolute garbage. Uh, Katie Dobbs... I don't think Carrie Lake is going to shout over you. However, I do think that you, she wants to talk to you to debate because we all know what happens if you try to debate this debate Carrie Lake. You will lose. You will not win the debate because the people of Arizona will understand exactly what you want, what you want to go for, and it won't be good for you in particular because you don't you don't advocate for what every single Arizona person wants. This is their each issue that you lay on, uh, that you have. And honestly, the Arizonans are not stupid, and they understand this by the looks of it. We're gonna go into another actual uh, another thing here to where it shows where how Katie Tops is being again an avoiding piece of garbage. Take a look. Republican candidate Carrie Lake will not happen, at least not today. Thanks for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Rachel Cole in for Caribe tonight. We do have a lot to get through in this next hour, but first let's take a step back and look how this all started. Team 12's Bram Resnick joins us to break it all down. Bram, it's been quite the day. It really has. Let's walk you through it. You know, this race is being watched nationally. Carrie Lake is viewed as the top Trump-supported candidate in the country. The polls tell us the election is a toss-up with Democratic Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. Now, what we saw today was a fiasco, a clash that didn't start with Lake and Hobbs, but, but between the organizations that run the election debates, and voters might be the losers. Carrie Lake was supposed to have had a televised one-on-one -on -one interview airing at 5 p.m. today on Arizona PBS. It was an interview, not a debate, because Katie Hobbs refused to debate Lake. The Arizona Citizens Clean Elections Commission, they run the debates, rejected Hobbs' request for separate interviews. But today, without any notice, the media learned that Arizona PBS, the Clean Elections TV partner, scheduled a 30-minute interview with Hobbs for next Tuesday, an interview she was not supposed to get. Clean Elections wasn't consulted, so it called off the Lake interview today. 
Lake went ballistic and then showed up late today outside Arizona PBS headquarters for a news conference. It is outrageous that we're watching the decimation of a two-decade tradition of debates that help the voters decide who to vote for. And a coward named Katie Hobbs is behind it along with PBS. It's outrageous. Lake has now proposed a debate between her and Hobbs on Tuesday in the time slot that was supposed to be used for Hobbs' one-on-one -on -one interview. There is no guarantee that will happen. Maybe you can hear the chicken sounds there. Meantime today, Katie Hobbs was pursued by Lake supporters dressed in chicken outfits outside a campaign office. Hobbs talked to supporters inside, and as the media has seen before, she took just a few questions from reporters and then left. The conditions weren't PBS's conditions, they were Clean Elections Commission's. I don't know what went on behind the scenes with them, sorry, or, or, um, or how they came to this, but they reached out to us and we accepted their offer. And that was Katie Hobb saying she has no idea why PBS suddenly offered her a one-on-one -on -one interview next Tuesday. In a statement late today, the dean of ASU's Cronkite School of Journalism, which is the home of Arizona PBS, said it was their duty to provide the public with access to the candidates. And there you have it. So it seems like uh, uh, Hobbs is only going to be able to uh, do one-on-one -on -one interviews and so have, and stuff like that, or whether going to finally be on maybe on Tuesday to where they where she will actually have a one-on-one -on -one interview and have a, in, uh, an introduction to as we as the man has said it to the actual public because people need to see the candidates and see what they're actually voting for. And Terry Lake said it best is that if you're going to go out and you're going to specifically uh, uh, d not have to communicate or have a debate with people to, so people can't vote correctly. You're doing an injustice to the people. You're doing an injustice to your uh, state. And she doesn't care. And there's going to be a lot more damning evidence, by the way, because there's a lot more things that seems to be meeting the eye here. Um, here is a Project Veritas video that was released that was that is actively showing Katie Allen what Katie Hobbs has been doing and how she, and how people at truly think of her and what what she's been doing behind the scenes. Take a look. To have a substantive conversation about the issues, and very likely that she's capable of doing that. So we are providing opportunity for folks to hear me around the state, and we're going to keep doing it. We have a lot of concerns about Katie's campaign. She's not debating very late, which is why not? We don't know. They basically, hmm. basically said only Democrats care about debates, and it's not going to change anything. Yeah, but she is a Democrat. <laughs> she was saying, they were saying only Democratic voters here, so it's, they're not going to lose any votes because Democrats are going to vote for anyway, which is which maybe is true, but it, it's as a politician, you never want to say, oh, I'm taking these votes for granted. I think it's as simple as that. They just don't think that the debate is worth her time, either because they think it's not going to change anyone's mind or they think it might actively be bad for her in some way. Did you watch the GOP primary debate? When Clean Elections was like, here's the debate format, it was exactly the same as the primary. Mm. And I was like, we're not going to put her in that. Mm. Like, she's not going to be part of something like that. Like, if you want to make a format that actually allows for, like, a substantive policy debate. Yeah. Mm. And we, where you can, like, compare positions, sure, we'll do that. Would Katie support something like an assault weapons ban? If she could, yeah. I mean, that, the problem is that's a federal issue, right? There's nothing she could do about it. Right. At least immediately, right? And so I'm kind of advocating for it publicly, which is really more impactful once you're governor. So it's kind of like, in this state of Florida, it's crazy and we're God, so we're not going to take the beat for it before she can do anything about it. Oh. He loves it. That's like, he would never say something like Tom O'Halloran, a congressman, a Democrat, Ripley Falls, would never, really? ever say anything. Yeah. Really? Because that's such a big issue here, huh? Correct. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Is that an AR-15? That is an AR-15. Easier to fire than a handgun. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. kind of scary. That's why it's scary. Don't you think rules for thee but not for me is problematic for someone running for state office? The car is locked, Ms. Hobbs. Doesn't want to discuss... So there you go. So they're actively not putting her into a positions to where... Uh, 
uh, to where she won't actually be able to debate, and it will be one-sided for Katie Dobbs rather than it being um, not one-sided for Carrie Lake. So, uh, so there you have it. It's just ridiculous because we all see what the establishment is doing and what they're trying to do, and I think this is not going to uh, favor very well for uh, Car for uh, Katie Dobbs in the long run. Um, people are seeing the type of stuff that she's doing. They're seeing the stuff that. Are not actively being in 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 their actual favor, and I think Arizona is going to vote correct this time, uh, this time around. And Katie Dobbs, uh, Hobbs, I keep on saying Katie Dobbs, Katie Hobbs. I'm sorry, like, but you're just not the person for Arizona. You're not the person for this country. You are a person that would not uh, advocate for your people well, because when people need to want need to. Uh, need to talk to you when they need to speak how you make a former uh former speech um and be a, to the public you're going to, you will just backpedal you will leave you will not want to show up and that is the huge massive problem to to where your stance is and if the people have let people like you into the actual government into their lives you're going to ruin their lives because you actively will not Talk to people who you really need to talk to, and that's what you're doing. You're avoiding the, you're avoiding debate. You're avoiding everything because you can't take accountability or responsibility because you do not believe in what you truly say. That speaks volumes on what on the type of person you are than anybody else. By the way, this is with the last clip, but this is Carrie Lake actively talking, uh, talk, speaking to this reporter about what's going on and what they're actively doing, which is another hit to Katie Daw Kate Hobbs, in my personal opinion. Take a look. Illegal immigration. Okay. I have friends who came here legally. This is about illegal immigration. This is about human trafficking, child trafficking, and drug trafficking. And so just you know, I want to just say one thing. I want to say no I want to say no I want to say one thing. I offered my border policy to the Arizona Republic. Your management refused to take it unless I took out the word invasion, which tells me that you guys are on the side of the cartels. Well, then why did you agree to do an interview? Because you've been pestering me. That's true. You've been pestering so, me nonstop. Let me ask one question. So how no, does no, this, no, this Why, why is your paper on the side of the cartels? Why are you against? We are not on the side of the why cartels. Why are you against securing our border? That's In this what I want to know. You offer a solution that would involve 11 million migrants that says they can stay here in this country, do a paper deportation, which is not actually a deportation at all. Sitting here talking to me tonight, you have said that under your leadership, various state forces would take on a more aggressive stance in deporting people, the National Guard, the Rangers, other local law enforcement. Are those not contradictory? I am absolutely opposed to mass amnesty, and I think a lot of the people coming across, probably 90 plus percent, are asylum fraudsters. They're coming here trying to seek a f asylum, and we better not give everybody asylum. And that's what's about to happen. And I want to warn the people of Arizona, Joe Biden is about to offer asylum to everyone who's coming across. And the people of Arizona will not take it. We will not have it. They have, they have really ruined any goodwill that people had to try to discuss and help people. Because right now, we're being overrun. People are being trafficked. Our our neighborhoods are being overrun with drugs and the Arizona Republic doesn't care because when I offered to give you the story about my immigration plan your management said no and I don't blame you you've only been here 10 months you don't really understand Arizona you've been here 10 months and they've got you covering politics and I don't think you really understand Arizona I'm pretty sure you don't understand Arizona what I'm trying so, to understand is and so your well, change me, in position I haven't changed my position at all how is this? Post? This is a reporter. I was a journalist. You probably don't remember because you weren't here. I'm throwing out ideas to get a discussion going. I'm not putting an opinion out. It's called getting a discussion going amongst people. But you don't understand that because the only discussion that the Arizona Republic is interested in is a far left discussion. And Stacy, you've been here 10 months. You don't understand Arizona. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. I'm out with the people every day. I'm out with hundreds of people every day, thousands of people some days. They're fed up at what's happening at our border. Why are I you, appreciate your time. Why we, are you we, we, gave you what, we gave you one more question. You answered, asked the question. We've given you probably, what, five or ten minutes longer? 
I appreciate your time, but I'm, I'm really prepared for another hit piece from the Republic. The good news is our polling is showing that every day you guys write a hit piece on me or every week and it's not sticking because the good people of Arizona, who I have a relationship with and I've had a relationship with for 27 years, are not buying the garbage that you guys are peddling. There you have it. These reporters and these people are going against Carrie Lake, and Carrie Lake is fighting back with an iron fist, and that is what we need for our governor, for their governor. Um, see, what they don't seem to realize is that they're doing everything in a possible way to not to demean Carrie Lake and try to make her seem like she's the villain when she's by far not the villain, and is actively wanting what the Arizonans people want, and that is just the reality. You people don't seem to understand that, or you really don't care. And Katie Hobbs is obviously avoiding all these controversial topics, getting onto your only news outlets, and actively avoiding any type of confrontation at all or debate to make herself seem like she cares for the Arizona people and that she actually seems like she matters. She doesn't. You don't. She doesn't care for the Arizona people. She doesn't want deba debates. And whenever there is a debate, she'll leave. For whatever, for to the safe face, so she doesn't see, seem to be mocked, and that's what not the Arizona people need. Plain and simple. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, take care.